I'm sitting here today with one of our international students at the JMSC, uh, Tamsin, because uh, our international students are really one of the things we're most proud of. So uh, I'm talking to, about you know why some of the international students came to, chose to come here to Hong Kong and uh, what you're finding out. So w w tell us your story, Tamsin. How did you find out about us and how did you get here? I have a personal story that brought me here. I took a sabbatical from a job already working as a reporter and editor in the Vancouver Bureau of the Canadian Press. And that sabbatical was three years ago. And I ended up traveling around Asia, mostly solo, through about 12 countries. And during that time, I discovered a lot about myself in terms of my capabilities and where my passions lay. In particular, I realized that when I put myself into uncomfortable situations, situations that were very different from anything I had yet experienced, I produced my best work. When I went back, I was doing still very good work with colleagues who were a family, but I wanted to see what else I could do. And uh, just considering the circumstances of my life, my age, I'd moved around a little bit within Canada as a journalist, but I thought it was time to move towards international reporting. I knew that I was looking for a way to bridge to Asia. And when I was looking at a newsletter, um, I discovered the program and I, my eyes opened and I just couldn't believe actually that uh, there was a very good, what looked to be a very good program in Asia that I could come to and perhaps get a fresh start. Okay, and so you arrived here and you came, showed up at JMSC, you had the orientation. Has it met your expectations? You know what, from day one, I've been inspired to be here. Uh, there was an orientation at the beginning where the profs stood up and talked about what they brought to the program and what they expected of us. And that just got me going. I was definitely jazzed. I have never had a dull moment yet. But for me, what's been great is not only is there time to learn new things, because I did come because I wanted to upgrade my skills, I also have found time outside to explore Hong Kong and have some really unique adventures, uh, whether it's been at the Foreign Correspondence Club or uh, going and just pursuing some freelance. So, so part of the experience is not just JMSC in the classes, but also the experience of living in Asia and Hong Kong. Definitely, and that was a huge draw for me because I have experience already as a reporter. Luckily, that's given me some comfort in the actual program. Um, but there's so much that I don't know. You don't know what you don't know, and I'm already finding out all those things. But I really knew that I needed to come to a place where I could get some kind of context. And I've been trying to build that up from, you know, interacting with my peers, interacting with the profs, and interacting with the city. And you, you, you came here as an experienced journalist, so uh, tell me, is this also going to possibly be a bridge to getting a job in journalism in Asia? That's the goal and the hope, and I believe it will be. So far, I have asked many people the question about job because it is precarious in North America. I have heard actually far more optimism than I ever anticipated. I continue to ask questions and to explore, but that's why I am here, and I'm gonna continue doing that for these nine months. Thanks, Tempson, and uh, thanks for all of you who are watching this. And if you think you've got, the, got what it takes to be a journalist and you've got the, the bug for Asia, please uh, come on here to, uh, to JMSC, check out our website, uh, check us out on Twitter, and put in an application, and let's see if we're a good fit. Uh, this is Keith Richburg. Thank you.